All right, this is dialed in with the uh, four jaw. I've already took a skim cut on here to set the diameter. I'm going to uh, fire it up here and cut air. I touched off on the front here, called this zero, and then I went back one inch exactly and called it zero again, so it'll be one inch out just to run through the code to make sure everything's okay. I will reset that and then we'll step through and see about cutting it. And I'm using very uh, non-aggressive cuts. I think I'm only taking uh, 10 or 20 thou cuts, something like that. Um, it doesn't take very long, so until I see exactly how this thing's going to cut dry, um, I, you know, I can always go back and make the cuts more aggressive and then uh, repost the code. Okay, so I've gone to the minus one inch from where I was. I'll tell it to zero that. It'll ask me if I want to position that in G54, and I tell it yes. Anyway, I was thinking, well, I could just do it on the mill because I have soft jaws cut at the diameter for that those rotors. Um, but then I have to use the hammer and go in and find center on every rotor because they're just not quite perfect. And that works fine. So the trade-off here is dialing in the four-jaw chuck is the equivalent of me having to do the hammer on the mill to get it to, to cut. And quite honestly, I'm not... Uh, I haven't checked it, so I'm not extremely confident in the mill making a perfectly round hole. Having to do this for each rotor is a bit of a pain. You know, and, and if you want advice on uh, dialing in a four jaw, go look up uh, A-Bomb 79. I am not anywhere close to his league. Because, quite honestly, this is the most I've used a four jaw yet. So then, get them all a little snug and see where I'm sitting. Man, that's pretty dang close. That's certainly close enough because that's roughly half a thou. Okay, uh, 800 RPMs, uh, I don't know what the feed rate is, 8 inches a minute, oh, 10 thou per rev, something like that. Use a finer grit sandpaper, I think. Man, that's nice. Okay. Hopefully, it took the burrs off the face there. Oh yeah, there's no catching. Perfect. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> uh, there we go. It's always nice when you do it the first time and you don't make a scrap part. That's always really nice. <laughs> there's that burr I mentioned on the inside. This one's not bad, and I wouldn't have sliced my fingernail like the other one, but uh, uh, there's also, just like on the face around the holes, the little burrs, there's burrs in here as well, too. So uh, I'm going to 
hit the edge of the big circle, hit all the little ones, and that should finish this rotor off perfect. Ooh, perfect. That rotor is finished. Man, I'm I'm super happy with that fit. That's that's so nice. Alright, got some uh emery paper here. I'll turn the spindle back on. <laughs> I hope that was hitting the plastic and not the camera. That's just what I didn't want. <laughs> <Can't>. <laughs> yeah, the burr on the backside caught the sandpaper, pulled it away, and of course then the burr just, you know, cut the hell out of my finger. Don't have to be too bright to be me.